it's so helpful to know where to put your um, information to participate. And then uh, we have uh, Brian, who is an admin on Wikicode, and he's going to, um, I mean, to animate the workshop for today. So um, we are very happy to have him with us today. So yeah, we have here um, the She Said Campaign 2023 page. Um, we have here um, the head of the page. Here it takes to the Wiki Lovers Women She Said. Here it takes to the to this page the 2020 uh, 2023 edition. Here it takes to the previous editions. You will find all the previous results. Here you will find some um, tools to help you um, learn more about the campaign and Wikicode. Here there is the talk page. You will find all the announcements uh, and notes to organizers. And here it takes to the Wiki Loves Women homepage. So we have um, here a small introduction. We have the schedule of this year's edition here. We started first by launching the call for grants. Then we uh, organized some webinars on how to apply for a grant for, uh, for the Wikimedia Foundation and the microfinancements of uh, Wikifranca. Then like we started sending the organizers and talk to the community and you still here have all the schedule. In this section, get involved, you are going to find how to get involved uh, as a Wikimedian if you are an individual and you don't belong to any community. Then you will find all the participating linguistic communities. We have here this year all, the, all these languages participating. So if uh, you are participating and you don't see your language here, please create a wiki code page of she said in your language and add uh, the link to it here. I mean, you can take any example of those, the English one or any other language. So here we have the participating affiliates or user groups. If you don't see your uh, user group or affiliate, please add it here. And if you are an individual and you would like to receive our, all our news, please add your name here to this list. Also, the next section is about the communication, uh, communications material. You will find this year um, uh, visuals of social media. You have the category to comments. You will find all the visuals created. You will find some bookmarks if you are interested in printing. And you will have some postcards. Uh, if you uh, would like to create your own visuals, um, I mean, if it's for social media, bookmarks or postcards, you can just contact me on my email. I'm going to send it later on the chat and I will send you the Canva link templates so you can create uh, your own. So basically, that's all. Uh, if you need any help, please uh, contact me on my talk page or on the talk page of the, of the campaign and i will leave uh like <laughs> i will leave it to brian to start the how to edit uh, workshop okay uh well the first thing i would like to ask is how familiar people in this presentation are with wikipedia editing generally with use of the wiki syntax for example I mean, do, do we have a group of like experienced editors here who you know, know their way around Wikipedia, but uh, WikiQuote is a different project for them? Anyone? Okay, well, um, Wiki, excellent. WikiQuote editing on its face is very much like Wikipedia editing. The syntax is the same. Um, and we have, you know, different, different, uh, ways to access pages for editing, uh, whether you want to use a visual editor or, um, use the source. I always edit with the source. Uh, yes. Do you have a question? Um, not really question. Are we, are we recording this? 
Yes, I believe so. Oh, okay, okay. Um, so I will I will share my screen. Let me see. How do I? Uh, am I able to share my screen? Yeah, I think so. I'm sure there is a button here that has that option. Let's see, captions, reaction, present. Okay, well, let's, let's try that. Let's uh, open up a wiki quote tab. And make sure I am logged in. There is present now. It's right next yes, to the hand. I think I just click share and my screen comes up. So are you seeing my screen now? Yes, we can see your screen. So I have my watch list and preferences and um, wiki quote in general. So this is uh, English wiki quote. And basically what we have, um, we have a new page on Karina Lau, who's a quote worthy woman. Um, now I think each language wiki quote kind of internally sets its own guidelines for what can be included uh, as a subject for a page. And you see, we have this nice she said banner on the top of all of our pages now. That's wonderful. Um, so we generally like to use as a shortcut, you know, we first ask, well, is there a Wikipedia article on this person? Um, if there's not a Wikipedia article, then they're probably not notable enough to have a page. That's not, um, a thousand percent always the case. Uh, I think there are very rare circumstances where we'll have a page on someone um, who is not Wikipedia notable, uh, but they're sort of quotable. But generally speaking, you know, the first thing we look to do is to have a Wikipedia page on the subject, and then uh, we link to that page. So it goes, you know, back and forth. And if we have a subject, there's there's a Wikipedia page. And let's see if someone has bothered to add a wiki quote link. So we always try and link back from the Wikipedia page to wiki quote so that there is that connection. People who are looking at the page can ultimately find out that uh, you can also find a collection of quotes from this person. And that's very simple. You just put that little, that little um, template that I just put that's wiki quote, wiki quote with the curly brackets around it. And that will take us right back to the wiki quote page, uh, which has that link right in the beginning. So we generally just copy the um, biographic information about the person, the sort of summary. It'll be like a, the first line of their, or their Wikipedia article. Um, and that makes things very easy to get things started. Uh, and in terms of quotes, there are, I guess, some different theories or ideas about what constitutes a quote that should be put on a wiki quote page. <laughs> you know, we have a couple of different standards. We have a quotability standard. And the idea is, is it something that if you're writing in a topic, you would want to quote this um, as exemplary of this person or of the concept that they're talking about. And I think it's also worth noting, there are basically three kinds of pages on Wikiquote. So we have pages on people, um, like this subject here, like Karina Lau. And then we have um, pages on topics, like happiness is a topic, and it has a page, and it has all of these quotes by people that are saying something about happiness. And if you um, find a quote on this page by Karina Lau that is about happiness, um, you know, what makes her happy or what she thinks the meaning of happiness is, um, then it would be fine to copy that 
to the page on happiness. So that you have it in, in both places. Now, I think there may be some point in the future where we aim to develop a different kind of structure uh, where we create something like a wiki data entry when I have an individual set of data points for a specific quote and then can populate pages so that all the quotes that are like tagged with happiness um, end up on the happiness page and all the quotes that are tagged as being by a certain person end up on the page of quotes by that person. Uh, we don't have that functionality yet. That would be sort of an ideal world thing to get to uh, and probably something that would be you know, cross languages because you could provide different translations of it. But right now everything has to be done kind of on an individual and manual basis. Um, I would also note that Karina Lau here has a Chinese wiki quote page. Um, that one is not well populated. So if you are someone who speaks Chinese and are able to translate uh, from one language to another, that would be another kind of avenue of expansion. So it's not necessarily all about, you know, going and finding all the quotes that an individual has uttered in the media and sort of out there in the wild. Um, you can also find pages that are on other languages of Wikiquote and translate them and, and bring their materials over, um, you know, or see if you can find, you know, this is, this is a Chinese subject in particular, and it may be that, um, a lot of their quotes were originally in Chinese and were translated. So you might be able to find the original quotes in the original language and add them to the, the Chinese wiki quote. And that, that's just an example. Of course, I know there, um, there are dozens and dozens of languages in Africa. I don't know how many wiki quote projects there are um, for African languages. And I know this is a, this is, this is African women, but um, it's a worldwide project. So, you know, whatever languages you may speak, it's certainly uh, always welcome to translate quotes from one language to another and expand, you know, those things can go both ways. There might be um, a subject who has a bunch of quotes in two different languages. There aren't the same quotes and you can translate the, um, the English quotes to, for example, French and the French quotes to English so that you have um, a larger page on both sides and all the same quotes. Um, <clears throat> now, the other, the other kind of page that we have besides these sort of uh, people pages and these sort of broad topic pages are pages on specific works. And I don't know if we have any of these here in my... Uh, my list. I have a lot of last words in in famous media. Uh, that's that's something that I work on. Um, but if you go to, I guess a movie like You've Got Mail. That's my my wife's favorite movie, and you can see we have notable quotes from the work. Um, and you know, of course, it's worth noting. I think that there are works that are created by women as well. This movie, in fact, was uh, directed by Nora Ephron, um, who's a female director. Uh, I don't know if that kind of counts towards she said, but certainly there, there are works um, also that are by women authors, uh, and we have pages on books, for example. Um, and I would imagine, if I think of someone like Emily Bronte, we might have we might have a page. Yeah, she wrote in the Fluttering Heights. Oh, that's a Wikipedia link. So we don't have an individual page on Fluttering Heights, but you know, that would be something you would you could take this this fairly large collection of quotes from a single book. Um, you could make a page just on the book Wuthering Heights, which is a book by a female author. So all of these um, different kinds of pages that we sort of have on Wikiquote uh, are subject to having pages that are female specific. I think that would be a, a great thing to have more of that. We don't necessarily break apart pages. And if you look at the, if you look at the page history, you can see like the page size. Um, this page is uh, about 45,000 bytes. So there's, there's an old principle 
in uh, Wikimedia generally that you know the ideal size for a page or the the top size for a page should be about 30, 32,000 um, because if it gets larger than that, then it slows loading, uh, particularly for people who live in parts of the world that don't have um, high speed internet capability uh, generally available. Um, and honestly, that's not something that we have at all abided by. We have pages that are much larger than that uh, and pages that are much larger than this one. But you know, that would be another example of a way to sort of expand out the footprint of women being quoted. Um, it's to find things where, you know, there are specific works that could sustain their own page. Um, and in fact, I think I'm going to, uh, I'm going to do that right now because that's a, it's a good way to sort of illustrate it. So if I type Wuthering Heights here, it's just going to take me to this section of this page. <clears throat> but this section is so big that uh, it should be its own article. It's it's half the page by itself, and of course it is a it is a highly notable work. I don't know if uh, you've heard of Wuthering Heights, but it's a it's a, an old. Um, I don't remember if Emily Bronte was English or American, but you know it's this this novel that um, is very well known. So I'm going to copy the whole thing. I'm going to actually start by putting C Wuthering Heights here. And then copy the whole thing. And then just put C. And I'm, I'm going to put the she said hashtag. Um, now we were having a little bit of a discussion. Oh, we don't have a C template here. That's okay. That is okay. Yeah, we were having a discussion about whether to use, um, the C, the C hashtag in edit summaries here. I don't think it hurts. Uh, we don't really use hashtags on Wikipedia. And I was not aware that there's a way to search broadly in. Now, if I go to see whether Heights now, it's going to redirect me right back here. So if I go all the way to the top of the page, it'll have that redirected from Wuthering Heights and clicking on that gets me to the page. And then I can just paste the whole thing that I copied before. And now I've created a new page just for this book. But I can't have just the page for this book, which, by the way, also notes that it has the full text of the book at Wikisource. That's also a great thing. If you're a Wikisource editor, you know, we're um, always looking for public domain content that can be added. And Here's how I would start this. I would put a wiki link to the Wikipedia page. I put that W and start a lead. And then I can go straight to the Wikipedia page and copy basically the first line of text here, and then I'll have my read for that page. <clears throat> and I'm just going to copy the first paragraph. It's, uh, it's a lovely introduction. So I didn't do anything original here. I just broke out, as we call it. And there's probably a lot of these that don't have wiki quote pages we don't have a wiki quote page on pen names i don't think or on landed gently maybe we should so i'll unlink all of those and 
a few of them I'll just make uh, into things that link to the wiki quote page or the wiki to the Wikipedia page. So if someone wants to read about the character of Heathcliff, I think romanticism we might have a page on. Gothic fiction we probably don't. When I say we may have a page, I mean there might be a wiki quote page where we can link directly to it, but we're about to find out. And then I put the header for quotes because that is this section. And I have added lead copied from Wikipedia because we always want to provide attribution when we're copying within the encyclopedia or within the project. So yes, there is a page on romanticism. That is lovely. So now we've got this sort of already a bit cross-linked in here. There were some quotes like storms, you know, that were already linked in here. So this uh, this has already got some some uh, connection back and forth within Wikiquote. And then it's an 1847 novel, and we want to throw in category. And I don't know if we have a category for 1847 novels. We don't. Maybe 1840s? No. Well, we certainly have English novels. You always want to have at least one category on a page. <clears throat> um, so just like that, we've expanded Wikiquote's footprint of pages by one. Um, we have a page of a work created by a female author. That is all their quotes and that little italic title at the top here so that uh, the title comes up like the title of work. Beautiful. So um, that's just sort of the basic, you know, this is how you edit Wikiquote. Now, now you can see from the formatting that Wikiquote is different from Wikipedia in that uh, everything has a sort of indentation style. Um, you know, depending on the kind of page, if I were to go, oh, oh, that's back to the Wikipedia page. Well, now we have an internal page, so we don't need to, we don't need this to go to the Wikipedia page. This can go to the internal page now. So now we have this internal page. So if I go back to Wuthering Heights here, and you remember I said that there's an article on Storm that is linked from here. You see each quote on the page has the quote itself and then indented uh, one further level under that, the citation. Who said it, where they said it, when it was published. Um, in this case, you know, some of this one was republished. Some of them are, are not. Um, and we want every quote to have attribution. We want to be able to tell people this is where the quote came from in the first place. Um, <clears throat> so there's sort of a philosophical question. You know, what is quote worthy and who makes that decision? And we don't have a sort of solid rule about that. So if you're listening to a TV interview with a notable person, uh, and they say something, they say, well, that's really profound, that's quotable. Um, there's no reason why you can't immediately go and put that in Wikiquote and say, well, basically, this is where I heard it. Um, who is the person who said it? What, what show are they being interviewed on? What was the date? Uh, ideally, you know, it's not always going to happen. Ideally, we would like to have a link to a source where the quote can be found. Um, so, for example, this quote by uh, David Grossman here, spiders can harness electric fields to fly. We have a link out to the article where he's quoted on saying that, but that's not required at all. Um, that's just a nice thing to have because, you know, it's good to be able to give people the quote in context. Um, and also it's, it's good to demonstrate the notability of the quote. So we have a policy called quotability 
um, which I was one of the uh, originators of. Well, actually, this is not a policy. This is technically a guideline, um, which lists a lot of factors as to when to include a quote. Uh, and that has to do with, is, is it a really notable subject? Is it a, re a really notable speaker? Is it a really good quote? Is it you know, clever or eloquent? Um, something that would come to mind like, a, um, like an idiom um, or a saying? Uh, you know, is it something that has been quoted by other people before? Is it something that was said by someone who's known for producing um, notable quotes. So we have those sorts of uh, considerations. And, you know, I think that that sort of encompasses it. Um, let me let me get out of the share screen and and see if we can make a conversation of this. Stop presenting. <clears throat> so um, does anyone have any questions or any any thoughts as to you know if there's anything that I can explain further? Because I want to be yes. I want to I have, Okay, I have a little question. So how will you know uh, which of the names you will you know create wiki quotes on? Oh, um, are, are you asking like, how do you know whether a person should have a page? How, how, let me put it another way. As I mean, I want to create a wiki quote on a, a notable person. How will I know if that person maybe doesn't have a wiki quote page already? You know, initially in Wiki in Wikipedia, you, they will give you something like a red li a red list. Where you oh have yeah, a yeah. List. Uh -huh. um, well, first of all, you can you can look up a name. You know, if you if you just type in the person's name and it doesn't come up, then they don't have a page. Um, if you have, I'm gonna I'm gonna go back to sharing the screen for a second because I, I actually have something um, useful for this. Oh, uh, let's see back to present again with wiki quote so i have um a sandbox as we all do or not a sandbox but i have a user page and i've created a sandbox in that user page which is the sub page of my user space and here you can see i have links uh or i have i have a lot of stuff that i've thrown together that's not yet on Wikiquote. And some of these are quotes by notable people, and, and some of them are um, quotes that aren't necessarily from notable people, but they're on notable topics. But you can see, like, I've created a link for Morris Shepard. There's no page on Morris Shepard. If I were to start a page on Morris Shepard, probably would be with this quote, although I don't know that there's a Morris Shepard on uh, Wikipedia. Or here, for example, these are, so there's, there's this thing called the American Film Institute, or AFI, which has all sorts of lists, the 100 greatest horror films, the 100 greatest comedy actors, and so forth. And they actually have a list of the 100 greatest quotes from movies, um, like Elementary, My Dear Watson is a quote from this first Sherlock Holmes movie. We don't have a page on that movie, so it's, it's red linked. So you can certainly go, and I actually have a page somewhere in here. Uh, oh, yeah, want it. That would be the one. Where I have a list of, like, we don't have pages for most of the countries of the world. Um, the blue links are the ones that someone else has created, because if I had created them, I would have removed it from the list. Um, or states of the United States. And there are some abstract topics, like agreements uh, or public interest and so forth, where we don't have an article. So I created just a list of links. And you can do this just as easily with a list of names. You can go to your user space on, on Wikiquote and either just on your user page or your talk page um, or on a sub page of your user page. You know, it's, it's very easy to create a sub page also. Um, you can just create a list of links 
to, you know, names of notable women. And then as soon as you save that, um, it will, you know, you publish changes and you'll, you'll immediately see which ones are red links and which ones are, are blue links. I think we, we have someone, uh, we have someone here from Tunisia and we have a page on Tunisia and it has precisely one quote and it's, you know, one, I don't know where this is from, but it's um, one big quote. It's kind of blocky. We generally don't like quotes to be this long, but you know, if there are quotes about Tunisia um, that are by a notable woman, that would be a place to add them as well. Um, so yeah, I, there there isn't you know there isn't sort of a master list of here and missing topics uh, like we have on Wikipedia. I know there's a she said project to which many people have added links. And as far as I know, no, oh, there is she said here. Maybe there maybe there's a list here. Yeah, there's a no, no, that's a list of participants. Yes, Brian, in, uh, in most of the languages, sorry to interrupt you, in most of the languages page, uh, we have red lists. Oh, yeah, that's that's wonderful. So I didn't yeah. know that <clears throat> coming in here. You know, I can I can I can tell you how to edit wiki quote, but I was not aware of that aspect. So now I see when I when I look on that page on the she said page, um, there is a very lengthy list of names and most of them are blue links. Uh, there are very few, apparently very few red links, um, but there are some. And certainly any editor who wants to can add links to this page uh, that would indicate that, okay, articles or pages are needed on these individuals. Um, and that would be, therefore, a resource both as a place to say, well, you know, I don't necessarily have the ability to collect quotes on uh, this person and create a page, but here's someone that should have a page, and then someone else can go to that and say, "Well, I don't necessarily um, have someone in mind, but I'll go look at a red link and and build a page on a person on that page." Um, I often find it useful to go to the Wikipedia page first for a subject, and sometimes you'll find that they're they're quoted on their Wikipedia page, and well, that's content that you can use to start a wiki quote page. Uh, we also don't have a draft space in a wiki quote. So if you start something, you can start something in a user sub page. Um, but we don't have sort of a minimum required number of quotes, as long as there's one notable quote that a person has written or uttered, you can start a page on that person with that quote. Uh, yeah, that's, that's my, um, my my uh, that's that's everything I, I have to say about it. Um, are there any uh, additional questions or thoughts? Um, Alif, you're muted. Yes, my questions right here in the chat. Right here. You see that? I'm sorry, I can't hear you very well. Yeah, I wrote down my questions here, right here in the chat, chat box. Now, now let's see. Here is the chat. Um, can we use a translation tool? Um, I don't know. I honestly, um, you know, I use Google Translate a lot. Um, I, I generally don't, um, parle un peu de français, but outside of that, I don't try to translate things from English into other languages that I don't, um, uh, speak, but Google translate and chat GTP both uh, are pretty good with translation. No, it's, it's like a tool inside Wikipedia that you could use the translate. It's like a tool that, um, Oh yeah. No, I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm aware that it exists. It's not a tool that I have used. Oh, okay. I, so, I, I was just wondering if I can use it here in Wikiquote as well as I do in Wikipedia. So that's why I asked. 
Yeah, I, I don't know the answer to that. Um, it's not a tool that I've used on Wikipedia either, but um, let me see if we have a page. Yeah, we don't seem to have a Wikipedia page, a wiki quote page on about a translation tool. Okay. And that may be that may be something to address. That may actually be something to bring up. Um, you know, wiki quote like Wikipedia has a community portal. We have a, a village pump. Um, so if that's something that would be useful for us to have, that would be worth bringing up there uh, and proposing. Um, and there are other editors who are more technically adept uh, with creating tools like that. I, I use tools, I don't necessarily make them, um, but that would certainly be a great thing to have um, and to have, I think, running both ways between Wikiquote projects and, and collaborations. Mm -hmm. Is there no uh, visual editor at all? Just like the source editor? Um, I think we do have visual editor. Okay. I'm not actually sure. I don't see it here. Okay. And yeah, yeah. In Hebrew, in Hebrew, it's not like this. In which you quote. Yeah, it it might it might be in my preferences. I I don't know that we do. I've never I've never okay. used visual editor on Wikiquote. You know, I I only um, I I started editing Wikipedia nearly twenty years ago. And I'm just very, very solidly, you know, that mm -hmm. my mode is is entering with the, the wiki and text interface. Okay, and how about this list that you, uh, can you send the link for the, that list with the um, missing articles? Yes, so, missing? yeah, we have a She Said page. And the She Said page has a list of articles, there's actually very, uh, there are actually very few red links on that page, but it's certainly one that can be expanded and, and oh. added to it. So, you know, that's that's another aspect. Everything isn't just about adding the content to the page itself. Um, it's equally important to have sort of back end where you have that, you know, that list of, of, of things that need to be added and people who aren't necessarily going to be able to add them um, creating the red links so that it is known that, you know, here's a subject uh, that needs a page added. And there's there's a, there's probably a lot more that can be done with that as well. You know, that can be parsed out. Um, you could have sublists by continent or nationality or native language uh, or field of study or something of that sort. Um, you know, I think it's it's nice to have um, representation, uh, for example, of women who are scientists. That's a big, that's a big deal on Wikipedia is including more women scientists as Wikipedia articles. That's something we could develop on Wikiquote if there are women who are scientists uh, who have notable quotes. Um, I think there's a woman who just won the, the Nobel Prize uh, in medicine for being one of the developers of the, uh, the COVID vaccine. They probably should have a wiki quote page. That's something I might get to this afternoon. So I think uh, is it Nanor? I want to make sure I'm pronouncing that correctly. Had raised her hand. Yes, yes. Thank you. Um, uh, I have uh, a question about in the beginning when you uh, explained that there is three types of uh, of pages on a wiki quote. Uh, mm -hmm. I missed the third one. The one, the first is people, the second yeah. topics, and third is the about third is, what exactly? The third is works. Works. So, uh -huh. Like a particular, like a particular book or a movie, um, or a play, you know, an actual work. Now, on on articles about people, um, where we have like an article on a playwright, or um, a screenwriter, or a novelist, we'll often have a lot of quotes from the works on the page of the person. Um, but if there's a substantial enough body of quotes, okay. then we can have a separate quote on a work. And, you know, sometimes you have works that don't have a single author. Um, so there's not a single person page that you would put everything on. Mm -hmm. And that's particularly the case with like television series where you have dozens of episodes and each one was written by a different person. Um, 
you know, or or even um, book series where there are multiple authors writing in a series. Um, but yeah, so works works are great uh, as well. Yeah, and yeah. but uh, yeah. if if there's, for example, uh, uh, reviews on on the uh, famous as a uh, we can consider them as a uh, uh, quote. Can can yeah. we add on, on, for example, on a, a piece work or something like that, a painting or uh, yeah, for example, not only book and movies. Right. Yeah, you could you could have, um, and I think we we have that. I'm, I'm pretty sure we have a page on the Mona Lisa. Yeah. Uh, for example. Yeah. So the Mona Lisa is a painting, um, mm -hmm. and we have numerous quotes that are just about the Mona Lisa, what people have said about it. And in fact, if you have a page on a book, you can also have quotes of what people have said about the book, not just quotes from the book or from a movie. But yeah, for a work like a, like a painting or a statue that is in itself a famous work. You know, we have a, a page on the Statue of Liberty with all these quotes, what people have said about the Statue of Liberty. And I think technically that would be considered a topic page um, as opposed to a work page. Uh, but, you know, you, you, I guess you see where I'm, I'm, I'm going with that, that yeah. Yeah. you can have that, that collection. Okay, uh, uh, last last uh, question, and uh, sorry for ladies Obi and uh, Bilagia. Uh, if if the notability is not well uh, defined in our uh, uh, wiki code, uh, linguistic li wiki code, for example, I'm contributing and we are going to uh, run the campaign, uh, she said, on Arabic wiki code. But uh, uh, it's not so active right now and uh, the policies, it's, uh, it's uh, some kind of from the beginning can we consider the the notability of the wikipedia our uh, uh, for example from arabic wikipedia it's um depend on the notability that to come to arabic wiki code you know i think that's something that each project kind of determines for itself there's a there's a degree to which the question is like what are you allowed to do and then what just can you do um and if you create a page on a subject uh, and no one kind of challenges the page or tries to delete it then you know that's permissible uh, in a way um so you can create a page on anything that you know that someone else doesn't try and delete uh, and that that kind of sets the standard for what kind of pages are allowed um, I think it makes sense because the wiki, the Wikipedia projects are always so much bigger than the wiki quote project. Yeah. You know, we have, uh, I think, 6 million Wikipedia pages now, and we have fewer than 50,000 wiki quote pages, and that's all kinds on topics and people. On, on languages. Um, well, I know on English we have 50,000. I say there's 6 yeah, million okay. English Wikipedia articles. I think everything else probably scales about the same. So, for example, um, French wiki quote has only eight thousand uh, pages. Um, do I have Arabic here? I'm pretty sure I can find it somewhere. Yeah. Let's see. Arabic wiki quote has. 2850 so it's very small um which is in a way it's a good thing if you want to add it and be productive there's a lot of room for growth so i think uh, exactly you could very easily just operate under the premise or the presumption that you're going to be able to create if there's a, if there's a wikipedia article on that subject in that language that should suffice to demonstrate notability and of course, each Wikipedia project also has its own um, scheme for notability and for deletion of articles and things get nominated and it's determined that someone's not notable. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I think that's that's a good rule of thumb. Uh, let me let me move on to thank Pelagia. You. Thank you. Thank you. No, it was great. Great questions. Um, Pelagia, or Pelagia, how do you pronounce that? 
Okay. Thank you. I was asking like, uh, if I want to contribute on my local language, can I use uh, the same, uh, the written uh, list for English? Can, can I use it as, as a red link for my language? Oh, the lead, like the, the um, introductory? Yeah, you can, you can do that and you can translate it uh, and through whatever translation tool you have available. Um, or if you, you know, if you speak both languages and are able to translate it by yourself, then that's, that's um, probably, you... probably the best. Um, mm -hmm. But yeah, as long as we provide attribution um, and say, this is where I got this information from, uh, you, can, you can copy anything anywhere in Wikimedia to anywhere else in Wikimedia with appropriate attribution. Okay, one more question is, uh, can I do it on incubator because my language is still incubator? Oh, that is that is a really good question. So your language does not have a wiki quote at all? Yeah, yeah. Okay, so I don't honestly know the process for, for getting a new language wiki quote started or a new language Wikipedia started for that matter. Um, I know that's done through Meta, um, but certainly you could, um, on English Wikipedia or on a, a different language, you could create a sub page of your user page and start collecting content there and translating things um, so that once you have a project that's created, you can just copy it over um, to the new uh, wiki quote for your language. You know, I think I think that would be a, a good way to do it is to to do it in a user sub page, and quite frankly, you know, there are people on Wikipedia who might bother you for doing that and say, oh, it's not hosting space or whatever, and and I don't think anyone in English wiki quote would. You know, we're not we're not um, that stringent to community in terms of policing people's user space. So yeah, I think that would be a, a fine way to, to at least start getting a baseline of materials. Okay. Um, Obi. Okay, mine is um, assuming if I see an article that has a wiki quotes already, but I want to add more quotes, is it allowed? Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. So this is this is a wiki just like any other. Anything else, anyone can, can improve any page, and we welcome that. Um, you know, and I, I, don't, I don't think you're liable to have a lot of issues where, like, you add quotes and someone says, oh, that quote shouldn't be added to the page. You know, there are, there are very uh, flexible limitations in terms of what gets added to pages. So as long as something is in fact a quote by the subject, um, I think we have a word limit and the word limit is very large. There are some, there's some quotes that are very large blocks of text and I don't think they necessarily should be, but you know, as long as it's, as long as it is a quote by a person, this person said this thing and you think that it is quote worthy, that it is uh, suitable to include, um, by all means add it. Um, just be aware of the structure of the page that you're adding it to. So if the quotes are in chronological order, you put it in the right place in terms of um, when it was said chronologically, or if the quotes are grouped by, um, you know, some, some sort of theme or topic of, of uh, what the person said, you know, their, their quotes in a certain sphere, that you put it in the right place on the page. But outside of that, um, there really are no limitations, and I think it's it's very rare that I've ever seen uh, someone challenged for adding a quote to a page and being told, no, that that quote doesn't belong in wiki quote. It's you know, it's not notable like that. Um, Ruby. Yeah, thank you so much for um, the insightful presentation I'm, I'm also concerned about the reference and um, what kinds of because I realize that sometimes the 
well, some references are not accepted on wiki code and can you use videos or like you know where you can find those codes to use as reference or are there strictly yeah, going by wikipedia reference and style yeah i mean i've i've used videos um as references for quotes uh, are you do you mean like youtube videos or like social media posts yes so youtube videos or videos from social media like yeah i don't i don't personally have a problem with that you know i don't um I don't know of anyone who goes around in WikiQuote looking for those to sort of um, take them down. As long as you have like a verified Twitter or a verified YouTube or something where, um, you know, I, I actually I don't know if verification means anything on Twitter anymore because now you can buy it. But it used it used to mean something. It used to mean that you know they had gone to some steps to make sure that the person was who they were saying they were. And I think maybe they still do uh, for people who are claiming a particular identity. Um, yeah, as long as there's, you know, reason to, to know that it's not like a fake, you know, page claiming to be, you know, social media page claiming to be uh, this notable person. Um, and certainly if you have a YouTube video, uh, I think in just about any context where it's that person speaking and say, you know, okay, okay, it's not, it's not some kind of a deep fake or, or AI generated thing. It's actually this person speaking in some context. Um, I certainly don't have a problem with links to that. Um, and I don't know that um, there's, you know, anyone going around on wiki quote saying these links should be removed from these pages. Um, so yeah the, the kind of short answer is i think it's okay um thank you so much well, it, it is my pleasure i think um i think my my hour is just about up so um if there are if there are any like last questions or comments um And if not, then I will, um, oh, thank you so much. I will pass it back to the organizers to uh, wrap up. Thank you. thank you, Brian, for everything, for being here today for us. Thank you all for attending. Um, if you have any other question, you can just reach me on afec at wikiinafrica.org or on the Meta um, talk page on Meta, my talk page, or the She Said uh, campaign talk page. Thank you. Yes, I hope it was useful to people. Bye. Bye-bye. Bye. 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 When you put this on YouTube, send me the link. I look forward to seeing it. Okay, we'll send it by email. Cool. Bye-bye. Okay, have a wonderful day.